Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing well today. And in this video, I'm going to be talking briefly about the seasonal affixes or the rework of the, the affixes this season, I, should, I suppose I should say. Um, so Blizzard went a slightly different direction with this season, and I think it was quite an experimental season for them. So they decided to opt with no seasonal affix, but reworking their current affixes to be just substantially better, I guess. Um, and this is the week that if you didn't do any PTR testing, if you haven't kind of done anything outside of live WoW, this is the first week that you'll have seen all of the affixes, um, especially the new ones. So afflicted, entangling, and uh, inc inc incorporeal. I actually figured out how to say that word now. Uh, so... Um, and I didn't. I didn't do any PTR testing. One, because I didn't really want to spoil the season for myself. I didn't want to go super hard and there was no real need for me to do the testing. Um, but also, I've just enjoyed kind of learning the affixes as they go and seeing how good or bad they are. Uh, so I've got a couple of thoughts on them. But overall, just if people are watching just for a quick analysis of the season and whether it's worth getting into, Mythic Plus this season is very much... The difficulty is dungeon-based, right? You're not going to get stuck behind affixes as much as you're going to get stuck behind a difficult boss or nasty trash. And I think that's awesome. That's a really good position to be in. Um, but yeah, so Entangling, I played... I was typically playing my pally at the time, so it was the first week. Um, but it was very, very skippable for pally because you could literally just freedom two targets. Um, and then I... Also did, I think I did one key on the chamois that week, and it was a little bit more, more annoying as a caster. I mean, as a healer, you pretty much just move during a, um, you, you like, you'll do an instant while moving and, and it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall it, it was not difficult at all. And, uh, like I, it was, it was an annoyance, but not ever game defining really um except for very niche scenarios where you wanted to like stack up for something and it forced a movement um then it can be quite annoying sometimes uh in incorporeal i still can't say the bloody word um that is that's probably the most annoying fx this season and i think that says a lot in that it's really not that bad um once you get that routine of, especially if you play in like a regular group of like, okay, I'm going to take, uh, if you have an auto marker, I'm going to take X, you're going to take diamond or triangle or whatever. And that's just our targets. You see, see them happy days. Um, and even in pugs, like I was noticing that that started becoming more and more of a common thing. Oof, he might get all oh, oh, okay. hey, Even Pugs, I noticed that that was more and more of a common thing where people were just like, I'll take this one, you take that one. Um, obviously, there's not always two, but just banking on there being two and then being happy when there's only one seemed to be a better strategy than banking on there being one and there then being two. Um, and then Afflicted this week, this is, I've done a couple of keys this week, so so far I've done like, uh, well, I've done a 15, and I've done a 13, I believe. And, well, I mean, Shammy itself is just obnoxiously broken with it. You have Poison Cleansing, uh, poison cleansing Totem that actually just deals with it by itself every 45 seconds. And outside of that, because of your mastery being uh, increased healing on low health targets... And afflicted starting on one health, you can actually just one heal them sometimes, which makes it a joke. Um, I've spoken to a friend of mine who's playing Resto Druid, and he's found that he can pretty much put a hot or two on them, and they're going to heal up before they cast. Um, a Holy Pally, it's pretty much one Holy Shock. Obviously, yours also have dispels during this. Um, I don't think it's an obnoxious amount to heal, which was kind of my concern with this affix, is that it was going to be, it was ex going to expect you to heal a million or huge amounts of numbers, um, or a dispel, which I think they've got a really good balance on it at the moment, where a dispel is definitely much easier, but you you can heal it if you need to use your dispel for something else. 
Um, because obviously taking that cooldown away, I mean, things like Brockenhide Hollow, where the spells are quite thick and fast in that dungeon, you have to use them quite often, you potentially don't want to keep it on cooldown. Um, but yeah, so overall, I would say these affixes so far have been good. Uh, bolstering, not increasing damage feels like a good change. If you make a mistake, it can be quite costly, but it's very rarely going to be the cause of a wipe now, which is nice. Raging uh, now increases, just makes the mob CC immune for the last 20% of their health, which you have to play around. You can still kick them, which I think is very good change. At one point, you couldn't, um, and I wouldn't have liked that. Um, but overall, the affixes this season feel fantastic. And I think if you are maybe were a little bit disheartened with the game in season one and weren't a big th fan of Thundering, which, I mean, totally get that, uh, maybe it's worth coming back and giving it a try because this season is looking good so far. Um, but aside from that, I mean, I'm going to be playing uh, Diablo in the next couple of days. So, and I imagine that's going to be quite a big hindrance to this season. Um, but I am working on trying to get my chamois to Keystone Master this week. I'm currently 1476. Shouldn't be that hard to hit Keystone Master on this. That will be two classes down for my challenge. Uh, apparently, oh, he's up there. That's why I couldn't see him. Um, yeah, so, oh, it's, uh, I mean, there's loads going on, which is always good. I managed to get my four set on my chamois this week, which... I'd be really lucky gearing this at the moment. Um, but yeah, I mean, even even then, you've just seen that, like... Yeah, he needs to get off there because it's really annoying. You've just seen two of those afflicted go through. It was an annoyance. We lo lost DPS for it. We lost time for it. But we didn't wipe. Like, it's, it's very rarely going to be the cause of a wipe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. More hardcore series coming soon on the mage. And uh, yeah, so... Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and more coming soon. Catch you later. Bye.